Dave Diantremont's name creeping from the number five position all the way up now into the final game against the tournament leader, Dave Arnold. He's one, three, and one to go. Chris, we started with a field of 64 players. 59 of those players were PBA pros, five international champions, in a little bit different format this week. The players bowled 48 games, 24 qualifying, 24 match play finalists. And let's take a look at how some of those fellows finished. Ray Edwards just missing. Baker won earlier this year at the AC Delco. Dr. Duke in ninth place. Studley David Houston. Bob Warren Jr., who can forget his great performance this year. Petraglia in the hunt. George Branham, he's won this tournament. Roberto Silva from Mexico City. Watch that name. Bill Ringener after last week's victory. The Deadeye, 22nd. Scott Alexander in his first tournament of champions. And some time off is coming up for everyone. We will be back May 18th for the IOF Foresters Open from Mississauga, which is a suburb of Toronto. And then we'll follow with the Greater Baltimore Open. That's the Indy 500 weekend. The Greater Hartford Open, PBA National Championship in Toledo, Ohio. And the 15th uh, Greater Detroit Open from Allen Park. And then June 22nd, our final stop on our 35th year from Wichita, Kansas. All right, the numbers going into this final game, Chris. Uh, D'Intermont with a solid 252 average. The only player to go from the fifth spot to win the title was Bob Learn Jr., a guy with the same type of style as D'Intermont, the power. D'Intermont, 27 strikes and 35 shots. Our tournament leader, Arnold, has his hands full. <laughs> Another 10. What we say, number seven. Mm -hmm. So far, it hasn't cost him anything. He's won his first three matches, and he's made every one of the 10 pins. Oh, hurriedly, and a miss. Boy, if Dave Arnold needs a shot in the arm to get this match going, it's an open frame unexpectedly by D'Intermont as he just slings it across that lane, which is 42 inches wide. He tried biting off 43 inches, not enough. He opens with a miss. Mm. Four pin. Dave with two championships in his 11 years as a pro. His patented reticent manner shows very little motion. I call him Mr. Machine. He just takes every frame one at a time. Very cerebral player, just a terrific style. There's nothing that he can't hit inside, outside, fast, slow. Dave Arnold has a solid game. He's our tournament leader. And a spare. As these two pros are bowling for a combined total of $93,000. Six to the winner, 33,000 runner up. Brenda Edgar, mm -hmm. the first lady of the state of Illinois. Obviously, her husband, the governor, not uh, being able to attend today, but she enjoys her bowling, obviously having a good time. And she's going to pick up that check for the Children's Benefit Fund of Chicago. Fifteen bucks a pin. Second four in two frames. Well, Dave Arnold has a diametrically different style than than uh, D'Intermont. He's straight down, as you can see, the ball trajectory, very little hook, about a five or six board break in the pocket. He starts with a couple of four pins. But Dave lives on patience and keeping the ball in play. He very seldom, if ever, beats himself. Crowd's getting in it, part. Aren't they? This is the big one, the 60 grand for the winner. <laughs> mm. The sport of Boeing has some things or axioms that never, hardly ever change, Chris. When you miss a single pin spare, usually the next frame or two, you come back with an open. And what happened is he needs to get the ball over here in the 2-4 zone and drive that 2-pin into the, s the 10. Tough shot. 
Just bites off a little, not quite enough of the two pin, a, a valiant effort. His wife Sylvia looks on. The Intermont's in trouble. Sylvia is a claims adjuster. She'd like to do some adjusting here in this final game. He's a, and her husband's a lean adjuster. He makes, has to make some moves now. Solid 10 and another open frame. He only has 18 through two. <laughs> Can't miss that spare. <laughs> okay, well, so, so uh, let's see now what Dave Arnold can do with a pair of spares shooting in the third frame title match, Tournament of Champions title match. seven there in the corner. One of our interested spectators doesn't know that 60 grand's on the line here. And at this point doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, infants, they're wonderful. You bet. Arnold around the pocket, all his th first three frames, four pin, four pin, seven pin. He's looking for his first strike. Chris, and speaking of youngsters, your grandson Mikey is in the hospital down in Florida area, and uh, hopefully he'll recover from his little bit of bout. Yep, a little viral pneumonia. This is the lovely wife of Dave Arnold, Caroline, and his mom. Caroline's sister is here, Mrs. Jess Stawick. His first strike. All right, let's take a look at the beautiful trophy that awaits today's champion. The Professional Bowlers Tour on ABC Sports. Brought to you by Brunswick. Get in the zone with Brunswick. Bud Light, official sponsor of the 1996 U.S. Olympic team. Make it a Bud Light. And AC Delco Automotive Parts. AC Delco, it's like buying time. In the fifth frame now with a strike up. Dave Arnold uh, has left the two, four, five, eight. A little earlier, um, Dave Diantremont. The strike in the fourth, marked with a spare in the fifth. 11 pins separating these two in the Tournament of Champions championship match. Gets him. Spare in the fifth as we go to bow. Thank you, Chris. Danny, uh, pretty solid game. Just one mistake right there at the end. Yeah, you know, they always say, you know, you got to be aggressive out here and you got to attack. And, and I did that and I just attacked a little too hard, pulled on the swing. And when you control the swing on the downswing, you, you get soft. And at least in my case, and that's what happened. But, you know, at least this, this time I didn't bowl a, a terrible game. I just had one crappy shot. You know, <laughs> what can I do? You know, <laughs> are you surprised at the low scoring out there right now? Um, they're a little tricky. Um, you know, I tried to go straighter. Uh, these guys are circling. There's a little wet dry down the middle part of the lane and, and I tried to just go right at them and, and you know just stay aggressive and and um, you know one of these guys is going to win. It's not going to be but one day I will. All right parts back to you Chris championship game. Danny who was second in the Firestone Tournament of Champions in 1991. Fourth 10 pin in this final game. Dave Arnold. Close match. Sixty thousand the winner of Bayliner boat motor and trailer package. Five year exemption into this event. A lot at stake. Plus bonuses. This is the mm -hmm. big one. If I'd say there's one tournament I would have liked to win in my career, Chris, this was it. Mm -hmm. Had a chance. Best I ever finished was third. Now Dientermont trails by ten, six frame. <laughs> Took out the seven, but left four. The 
boys are feeling the pressure here. Try bowling for 60 grand, and sometimes it's not as easy to let go of the ball. It's not a practice game. That's what makes it so important. It's who can survive. This is match play competition. In the sport of bowling, Chris, I only think about who you beat and what you won, not the score you shot, and that's important. You can sit home today and shoot 300. That doesn't mean anything. It's if did you win the tournament of champions. Another 10 pin. That's his ninth of the day. Now he opened this game with a miss of this spare on the left lane. A little more careful this time. Yes. Tournament of champions starting in 1965 in Akron. And won by the late, not the late, but one of my great friends, Billy Waylu. Not Billy Waylu, Billy Hardwick. Billy Boy, Hardwick. you caught me off guard there. No, that Billy Hardwick is who's been so uh, great on your winning never gets old tips <laughs> this year. He defeated Dick Weber. And of course last year was Mike Albee. Key shot for Arnold right here. He leads by 12, but he can't count on D'Intermont not striking. You must see a little different style here, and I really think the ideal style for longevity on the PBA Tour or just enjoy this game. He's going to start right about here. He's going to slide in this area. His target's going to be right between the second and third arrows, and here's his approach trajectory, and here's his ball trajectory. Very slight hook. Going for a double. Perfect. Big double. Sparrow shooting in the eighth frame. <laughs> Took the scenic route that time. He did. Give DeIntermont credit. He goes with what got him there. He's not going to try to line the ball into the pocket. He's going to lean on that power. He sent that ball out to almost the, the edge of the gutter and brought it back for a strike. And now he needs this strike to stay in the match. This is his most important shot so far today. Trails by 22, ninth frame championship match. Clutch in the ninth frame, baby. Sylvia, his wife. You hear the crack of those pins from mm -hmm. up here. Leader by 12. The double up, ninth frame for Dave Arnold, the tournament leader. If Dave has one flaw that I've seen over a period of years, it's a tendency to decelerate his arm swing under pressure. He has to get that extra reach and good arm acceleration. Key shot. Mm. Back Boy, to, mm -hmm. He answered what uh, D'Intermont put in front of him. And for Dave Arnold, he holds the title in his hand if he can just get nine spare strike. He needs 19 pins in the 10th frame. A strike on the first ball would be locks as his wife looks on. He's won two titles, but never thrown a shot bigger than this one. Oh, my. What a surprising turnaround. That's the same thing that Danny Wiseman did in the 10th frame with, uh, with the Intermont sitting on the bench. Here, mm. our tournament leader, Dave Arnold, cuts right through the heart. If he gets nine out, he'll end up with 202. Dave D'Intermont will need a strike and a good count to win the championship. D'Intermont will still have to strike. Chris, 202. 202. Here's the situation for all the wheat. Mm. The big D looking for his first major, his fifth championship needs a strike and eight spare. 
must strike on the first ball. Four, six, seven. Dan Dewey, Dave Arnold. Dave DeAntremont has been knocking on the door all year. Third television appearance. Gentremont looking to the side, Chris, to get a score. He, he needs eight spare. He gets eight spare. He's a winner. If he gets seven spare, we have a tie. Championship for the Middleburg Heights, Ohio pro Dave DeAntremont. He joins a list of names of great bowlers in the Tournament of Champions, the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions. We'll be back. Congratulations, champion. Thank you, Chris. This is, I can hardly talk. This is unbelievable. I'd like to thank everybody at Brunswick for this tournament. They did one hell of a job this week. I'll be glad, to, uh, look forward to coming back. I'd like to thank Phil Cardinelli, Steve Wonderlich, everybody down in San Antonio for giving me the best equipment to bowl with. And uh, we'll see you all next year. Fred Florjanic, the president, has some um, spoils of victory for you, Fred. Fabulous bowling, David. Congratulations. Let me present you with two very important things. First, a check for $60,000. <laughs> and then a crystal trophy representing the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions. Thank you very much. I'd also like to tell you that your, your bowling helped raise 30,000 for the Children's Benefit Fund. That's great, that's great. And Brenda Edgar, First Lady of the State, is here to pick it up. Uh, Sylvia, where are you, Sylvia? Come and pick it up. We have just a few seconds. Here's, here's the claims adjuster who now claims the spoils of victory. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been great here in Illinois. Thank you. Go Bulls. See you all later.